Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt Napoli here. Welcome to episode 143 of Snack Minute. Uh, we have one of our longtime guests returning to us, uh, Joe Clark, and he's going to talk to us a little bit more about a contest that was announced at uh, Spotlight. And um, it's around our favorite tool, or one of our favorite tools here at Cisco, uh, Cisco Modeling Labs, or CML as we colloquially call it. Um, Joe, welcome back. Glad to have you here. And um, can you give us a little more insight into what people can expect from this contest, how to get involved, and um, maybe as you, you go through it, Kareem and I will have a few questions for you. Thanks, Matt. Uh, bold use of colloquial. Um, that tough to do <laughs> on a video like this. Uh, thanks, uh, Kareem, both of you for having me back. Yeah, uh, so we we, uh, we had a great spotlight and we announced this contest, uh, CML plus CCNA. So essentially what we wanted to do is tap into you, our community, uh, that is all you watching us here, uh, all you snackers, and say, do you have an idea for a CCNA task or set of tasks someone can do that aligns to our CCNA exam topics blueprint? Go into Cisco Modeling Labs, create that lab, create that scenario, create a set of exercises that you want someone to do who will download it and then give them the solution version of that as well so as they're preparing for the ccna if they get stuck if they want to self-grade themselves they'll have something to go on get a screenshot of your topology zip that up and submit it into our contest if you happen to already be certified you'll get three continuing education credits for each submission wow you can only submit once per blueprint task so look at that CCNA exam topic list and look at those tasks like 1.1, 1.2, 2.1. Those are the tasks that you can submit for. Uh, you do that, you submit. Um, we're, we're giving you a month. So you have until May 24th, at what point? At which point we will post all of the ones that we got, all of the valid ones that met the rules, the terms and conditions. We'll post them in our Cisco Learning Network community, and you can come back, bring your friends, bring your family, vote for the ones that you like the best. The winners, the top three uh, by vote, will get a year subscription to Cisco Modeling Labs Personal Plus. Um, and you know, like I said, everyone who has a uh, certification will get those those continuing education credits. I think it's uh -huh. a win-win, Matt, don't you think? I mean, first of all, if you are somebody that's looking to get into your CCNA and, and get that certification, I know when I was going for my CCNA, getting that hands-on was not easy. Sure, we had a little bit of packet tracer and you had to go find a bunch of packet tracer templates on the CLN, but now having that is uh, is pretty actually pretty, and, and not only this, but it actually ties it to a blueprint task as well as gives you the solution so you can get that muscle memory for your CCNA, which I think is pretty awesome. Yeah, Kareem, uh, we're also talking about maybe 15 or 20 years ago, though, for you, right? <laughs> Actually, you're right, because I just found my cert. I found my cert, that's funny to say that, from 2008. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, what, 16 years? So, yeah. Um, you know, the technologies have come a long way. Um, Cisco Modeling Labs has come a really long way. Um, and so it's really cool that we now have this opportunity to um, give those that are preparing for the exam and starting to go through that process the opportunity to really in and do the hands on. It's really exciting. And um, I mean, it's a really cool way for you guys to scale, too. Yeah, it's it's a nice way to to reach out to the community and say, what are the challenges and ideas that you guys actually have? Um, you know, we have a ton of ideas internally, but we aren't hitting all of the um you know, all the notions that particular organizations or individuals are running into. So that's super exciting. And and, and there's a lot of creativity out there from our community. Um, so that uh, I, I, there, I put an example out there, but I know uh, to your point with all that CML has to offer, there'll be some creative solutions. Yeah. Speaking of all the CML has to offer, the were you, are you thinking after this to keep the contest going and maybe focus on like the Dev Associate or... Uh, other certifications to allow for that? It's an interesting question. So yeah, this is the first time we're doing anything like this. Uh, I, I have no idea how many people will ultimately enter. Um, yes, we would like, if this is successful, we would like to see other blueprints um, considered. We think there's a lot CML can do. Uh, to both of your points, uh, CCNA was just a nice entry point, but ENRZ, uh, Encore, 
uh, th those can all be labbed. Uh, most of those can be labbed up in CML. Yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll see where this where this goes and and how the community responds. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Are you going to submit something, Matt, or you're too cool for school now? I I'm too cool for school. No, I actually um, I haven't really contemplated looking into getting my CCNA uh, for a while. Um, so maybe this would be a good jump start to it and um, get me uh, moving in that direction. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well, you I love when you pause it. I love when you posit challenges to me on live, well, pre-recorded slash live. <laughs> and, and, it, and I love how you never deliver on anything that you say. So, like, it's, Ooh. you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of really warm in here. <laughs> it is a great opportunity for those who know to give back. Right. If, if you've been a longtime network engineer and you're just you're saying, how can I give the next generation a shot? CCNA is a good entry point, and this can exercise your chops. Maybe you haven't done VLAN dot one q trunking and and routing of vlans in a while ever never did it <laughs> uh maybe you haven't thought about spanning tree in a long time this is a chance to uh this is a chance to give back to those those just getting started yeah i think it's a great contest um i don't i don't believe uh, as cisco employees i don't think we could we could win but we could get ce credits which is great yeah um, uh, three ce credits yeah, is you, huge yeah yeah, yeah, per, per well, entry, and your system employees entry. cannot, uh, will not enter the contest. Uh, we we can't do that per legal. Right, but ah, see, I, I'm I'm absolved. <laughs> <laughs> but you can still submit, and you should. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. All right, I get it. I get it. <laughs> you, you, you submit. You just can't be eligible to win. Fair Snackers, enough. definitely check out the the link on the screen here. That will get you to. Um, the contest page with all the information, the rules and everything and how to submit. Uh, make sure you submit. If you have not, if you've missed Cisco U Spotlight, um, we will also have the recordings available for you in Cisco U that has the Joe talking about this contest as well. So check out the link, um, participate. I know I will and I'll see Matt's there, um, but uh, <laughs> But Joe, I wanted to thank you for taking the time uh, chatting with our snackers. Sure. And uh, this is a great opportunity to give back, like you said. So appreciate it. And thank you, snackers, oh, for your time. Pleasure. Today. Thanks.